Thorlabs Vitran LDC cleavers are capable of high precision cleaving of glass fibres with diameters ranging from 80 micron to 1250 micron cladding. The cleavers use a tension and scribe technique. The fibre is first placed under a known tension. Then a diamond cleave blade moves gradually forwards in a pecking motion until the blade just strikes the fibre, causing it to cleave. For more information about performing both flat and angled cleaves, please click on the annotations to watch the videos and learn more. In this video we will describe how to set the blade offset. This will need to be done if the blade has been repositioned or if the blade has been replaced. When a cleave is performed, once the required fibre tension has been achieved, the blade will move forwards to its pre-cleave position where it will be close to, but not touching, the fibre. The distance of this initial move is the blade offset distance plus the pre-cleave advance distance. This initial forward move will be smaller for large diameter fibres than for smaller diameters. The blade offset is the distance the blade moves off its starting or home position. The same blade offset applies to all cleave files and fibre sizes. The pre-cleave advance distance is the distance the blade moves forwards from the blade offset distance towards the fibre. It is modified to account for the fact that for larger fibres, the blade needs to move a smaller overall distance from home to reach the fibre. The pre-cleave advance value is therefore specific for a particular fibre size and cleave file. As the blade offset applies to all cleave files and fibre sizes, it only needs to be modified when a blade is repositioned or replaced. This accounts for variation in the blade dimensions and the position of the blade. This will prevent the blade moving too far forwards into the fibre and being damaged prematurely. When verifying the blade offset, it is helpful to use a piece of fibre as a reference. Use the handset controller to either load or set up a cleave file for a standard fibre size which matches your reference fibre. For example, SMF28 or Thorlabs FG400LA can be used. If the original factory file has been modified, the auto parameter tool on the handset can be used to ensure that the correct cleave tension and pre-cleave advance are set for the reference fibre's diameter. Now secure the reference fibre in the left fibre holding block using either a transfer insert or by closing the left fibre holding block lid. Do not clamp the reference fibre in the right fibre holding block. This will prevent damage to the blade when it is moved to the service position. When the cleave blade is moved to the service position, it moves forwards by the blade offset plus the pre-cleave advance distances. In other words, the same as the blade's initial forward move at the start of a cleave. Moving the blade to the service position with the reference fibre in place can be used to judge if the blade offset value is set correctly. With the reference fibre in place, use the handset to move the blade to the service position. Once the move has completed, observe the blade's end position relative to the reference fibre. If the blade moves so that it touches or deflects the fibre, the blade offset is too large. If the blade moves forwards but its end position is still a long way from the fibre, the blade offset is too small. Adjust the blade offset as required. Changes of only a few tens of steps will be needed if the blade is only slightly misaligned. Larger changes are required if there is a gross misalignment. Use the handset controller to home the cleave blade. Once the new blade offset has been set, move the blade to the service position once again and observe the end position of the blade relative to the reference fibre. It may be helpful when making fine adjustments and determining when the blade first hits the fibre to use an eye loop. Some iteration will be required to achieve a blade offset that brings the blade close to but not touching the fibre. Once the value of the blade offset has been set using this approach, 
it should be verified by performing a cleave. Load a fibre into the machine and perform a cleave. When the blade comes forwards, verify that it does not touch the fibre. The handset controller also displays the number of pecs taken to cleave the fibre. As a rough guide, about 15 pecs should occur before the fibre is cleaved. Further iteration of the blade offset value can be carried out if required. Once the blade offset has been set, the cleave performance can be verified by observing the cleaved fibre on an interferometer or using a glass processor. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us either at techsupport at thorlabs.com or vitran.uk at thorlabs.com.